find the three cubic roots of 64i. Coming right up. To solve this problem, we're going to have to use the nth root theorem. So our first task will be to write 64i in terms of cosine theta and i sine theta. To write negative 64i in terms of cosine and sine, I have to think of a value of theta where cosine 0 and sine is positive because negative 64i is going to equal negative 64 times the cosine of pi over 2, so I'll make the real part 0, plus i times the sine of pi over 2. That'll make the imaginary part 1, and that'll multiply by the negative 64, and that'll give us negative 64i. Next, I've got to notice that I can find the nth roots by using my nth root theorem. So using our formula, we can write wk, the kth root, the kth cubed root, is the cube root of r, which in this case is negative 64 multiplied by cosine, and of course theta is pi over 2, plus 2 pi k, all over n, and in this case n is equal to 3, and it's the same argument for the sine function. So next we'll want to simplify this expression. So according to my formula then, I'm going to see what happens when k equals 0. So it's the first going to be the first root. w0, that's going to equal minus 4 times cosine pi over 6, because the 4 pi k is going to go away plus i sine pi over 6. And I memorize my triangle, and I know that that's going to give me negative 4 times the square root of 3 over 2 uh, plus, excuse me, plus uh, 1 half times i. And when I multiply that through, that is negative 2 times the square root of 3 minus 2 i. So that's my first root of minus 64i. Now let's check it. We're going to check this on the calculator. So I'm going to use the parentheses, negative 2, then I want the square root of 3. I'm going to press that forward to get it out from under the square root, minus 2. And next I'm going to press second, and the period mark here, which is the i symbol, close the parentheses, all to the power 3. When I hit enter, that will give me my result, which is what I wanted it to be, minus 64i. So after I've found each of these roots, I can check. The next one is when k is equal to 1. So that's w1, and that's equal to negative 4, cosine 5 pi over 6. plus i sine 5 pi over 6. I'm going to get quite a different, uh, quite a similar result here, excuse me. This is going to be minus 4 times minus the square root of 3 over 2, because 5 pi over 6, of course, is in q2, plus i times positive 1 half, and that, when I simplify it, is going to be 2 times the square root of 3 minus 2i. And once again, I can check that on my calculator and make sure that it is, in fact, if I cube it, minus 64i, and I'll find that it is. The last cube root is q equals, uh, k equals 2. Let's calculate that one. The third and the final root is when k equals 2. And that's going to equal negative 4, and cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0, plus i, or in other words, minus 4i. 
And if you cube minus 4i, you get minus 64i. You can check, as I've mentioned previously, each of your answers. If you've got any value out of watching this video, I uh, request that you please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below, especially if you'd like to see another uh, topic covered, and I'll be happy to do that. Have a great day. And remember, math is fun and doable if you do it step by step and go slowly.